Did a Board of Education member who just resigned get an upper hand in his bid to become school superintendent? And how will his former colleagues manage recruiting and hiring for the top job now? Gina Mangieri is always investigating and found out that's what some lawmakers are wondering. Gina? Joe, during a short stint on the board, the man who now says he's interested in applying for the top school job weighed in on how to handle that job becoming vacant and what steps should be taken in filling the position. So critics are crawling foul, while supporters say it doesn't dampen his qualifications nor the hiring process from here on out. Governor David Ige appointed Daryl Galera to the Board of Education last October, and by November, Galera was heading an investigative committee group on replacing Superintendent Catherine Matayoshi. Fast forward to this week, Galera now says he's interested in the top job, and he's stepping down from the, from the board. That's a red flag for some, not so much for others. There are rumblings now coming forward in terms of, you know, you've had this situation here where... Uh, this individual um, participated not only in the process of the removal of the superintendent, but also in the process of coming up with the prerequisites and the minimum qualifications in the selection of the new superintendent. The Daryl Galera I know um, would never try to manipulate a system. His nature is that he's very honest, very straightforward. I'm pretty sure that Daryl didn't uh, agree to be a member of the Board of Education with a goal of getting an advantage later in applying for the position. Some senators also have questions for Governor Ige, who nominated Galera last fall, but has yet to send Galera and hundreds of other board and commission nominees to the Senate for advice and consent confirmation months into the legislative session. Now, the deadline's not till March 31st. Tonight at 10, we get answers from the governor on that and what he had in mind for the board and department leadership when he nominated Galera to the BOE last fall. Also, when did the governor know Galera was eyeing the top job? Also tonight at 10, what the board has to say about how the process will go from here on out and how broad might interest be, besides the former board member, in contending for the superintendent position. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News.